myself, Dr. Kinjal Patel. I am a cardiac physiotherapist in UN Meta Institute of Cardiology and Research Center since last 11 years. In continuous physiotherapy education, today my topic is winning strategy from mechanical ventilator. In content of the in first of our introduction, then mode of ventilator, definition of winning, winning criteria, method of winning. Uh, monitoring during winning, role of physiotherapist in winning and last conclusion. First of all introduction, mechanical ventilator is indicated when the patient cannot maintain spontaneous ventilation to provide adequate oxygenation or CO2 removal. It provides support until reversal of underlying pathology so that patient may win from mechanical ventilator later. In condition in first of all acute ventilatory failure like ARDS, acute lung injury and independent ventilatory failure, progressive acidosis with hypoventilation and severe hypoxemia like ARDS, acute pulmonary edema and prophylactic ventilatory support in neuromuscular disease and post anesthesia recovery. Then we can see in basic mode of ventilation. First of all, control mandatory ventilation, then assist control, intermittent mandatory ventilation, synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, then pressure support, and last CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure. First of all, in a continuous mandatory ventilation, in two type volume control and pressure control. First of all, we can see in volume control. We in volume control we have preside tidal volume at the time trigger respiratory rate control both the tidal volume and respiratory rate of the patient. Use of this mode with sedation, respiratory depression and neuromuscular blockers. Indication of this mode, patient fighting, bucking, then a tetanus, other seizure activity, then complete rest for inertia 24 hours and last crushed chest injury. In showing diagram, we can in graph in this OH we have preset the tidal volume and respiratory rate. Then in pressure control mode, in patient pressure control mode, ventilatory deliver volume uh, until a set pressure level is achieved and tidal volume varies according to compliance of lung, uh, require frequently adjustment of pressure according to the varying tidal volume. It's a in figure we can see in already preside the, uh, preside the volume. Then assist control ventilation. In assist control ventilation, the patient uh, with AC mode patient triggered by patient spontaneously inspiratory effort or time triggered by patient preset respiratory rate. Each control and assist breath provide the patient with preset the tidal volume. Indication of this mode to provide fully ventilatory support as does not allow patient to take spontaneous breath, then patient can be stable respiratory drive and trigger the ventilator into inspiration. Then intermittent mandatory ventilation. In this mode you say to receive a set number of ventilator breath that different from control mode patient can enunciate on breath and different from assist mode then spontaneous breath not supported. Then ventilator always deliver breath even if patient taking spontaneous breath then really result in breath striking and large barotrauma. Then synchronize intermittent mandatory ventilation, SIMV mandatory breath, the ventilator provide the patient with preset number of breath per minute at the specified tidal volume and FiO2. And spontaneously inspiratory effort just prior to the deliver of the time trigger breath. In between the mandatory breath, SIMV permit the patient to breathe spontaneously. In figure we can see in spontaneous breath. Then pressure support ventilation, in this mode they the, the, the spontaneous mode, no mandatory breath are delivered by ventilator and decrease work of breathing, augment spontaneously tidal volume and spontaneous respiratory rate. Use of this mode, then complement volume cycle mode, MPSV for winning purpose along with CPAP for winning and retraining muscle strength. Then uh, continuous positive air, airway pressure. 
एप्लाइड विथ और विदाउट वेंटिलेटरी और आर्टिफिशियल एयरवे लाइक फेशियल मास्क नेजल मास्क और एंडोट्रिकल ट्यूब इन दिस मोड पॉजिटिव एयरवे प्रेशर इंस्पिरेटरी इन एक्सपिरेटरी फ्रेज ऑफ स्पॉन्डेनियस ब्रीथ वॉट इज विनिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ विड्रॉइंग मेकेनिकल वेंटिलेटरी सपोर्ट एंड ट्रांसफरिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफरिंग द वर्क ऑफ ब्रीथिंग फ्रॉम द वेंटिलेटर टू द पेशेंट इन सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ केसेस एब्रीवेंट टर्मिनेशन ऑफ वेंटिलेटरी सपोर्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंटेज ऑफ विनिंग प्रोटोकॉल ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर टू सेवेंटी टू आवर्स फाइव टू टेन परसेंटेज ग्रेजुअली विनिंग ओवर लॉन्गर टाइम एंड ओनली वन परसेंटेज देर वेंटिलेटरी डिपेंडेड Why winning is most important? There is the mechanical ventilator complication. First of all, VEP, ventilatory associated pneumonia. Then barotrauma, an increase in ARDS condition. Then tracheal stenosis. Then deep vein thrombosis. For forty to eighty percent is without prophylaxis. Then ICU adequate weakness from immobilization and critically illness polyneuropathy. When to win? The decision. The the decision to the patient should be clinically and winning criteria should be support it. In condition, they either reduce first of all reduce FiO2 usually less than zero point five and no requirement for higher PEEP, adequate underlying respiratory rate and appropriate tidal volume with moderate airway pressure. In general condition, check for puffiness and chest wall edema. Then clinically. No tachycardia or arrhythmia. Then blood pressure acceptable for with minimal ionotropic support and absence of excessive secretion and adequate cough reflex. Then check the end. Uh, check the ET leak. We can show in ventilatory for pediatric patient. In 2D echo, we can see in ventricular function and cardiac surgery should be satisfactory. then chest x ray we can see in no, no pneumothorax or collection then in abg or drain no bleeding or minimal then condition of the patient prior to weaning before any weaning attempt assess the patient overall clinically condition first of all has the patient significantly he recover from the disease or injury or of injury that promoted the need for mechanical ventilation are there other clinically condition that may interfere with the patient ability to maintain um, the work of spontaneous breathing or is spontaneous breathing adequate or not then hemodynamically stable with optimized ionotropic support a intravascular fluid balance keep negative balance electrolyte imbalance correction then correction of acid base imbalance infection control under control then prevention and management of post operative pain and stop sedation like fentanyl infusion and neuromuscular blockage reverse with the neostigmine 0.05 mg per kg and glyco o 0.01 mg per kg then winning procedure depending on the patient ability to breathe spontaneously and level of muscular strength to overcome resistance and the winning procedure first of all t tube winning then simv then pressure support ventilation then cpap with pressure support ventilation first of all t tube winning prior to the introduction of of simv and intermittent mandatory ventilation the only available method of gradually weaning a patient was the technique of alternating the patient between spontaneous t tube breathing and full ventilatory support the process is repeated with progressively more time on t tube and less time on full support until either the patient is weaned or it or it appears that the patient is not ready to be weaned then reverse for the patient who are on ventilator for 2 to 3 days then sim v mode since most current generation ventilator has an sim v mode winning with the sim v mode is most simple and common winning approach 
then reduce SIMV rate by 1 to 3 breath per minute, then obtain blood gases after 30 minutes, reduce SIMV rate further until a rate close to 0 is arranged. If patient tolerance go for extubation, then blood gases and vital sign are satisfactory. Then pressure support ventilation commonly applied during SIMV weaning or used along for the spontaneously breathing patient. Use in COPD, then uh, it, it reduces circuit and airway resistance during spontaneous breathing. It is a mode using primarily for weaning from ventilatory, then, moni then monitor for atelectasis, increase uh, secretion or bronchospasm can result in low tidal volume. Then like tricostomy weaning, it is performed in patient with prolonged ventilation specific when underlying pathology require long time to recover. The advantage of the tricostomy tube, more effective clearance of secretion, reduce resistance to breathing, then reduce risk of laryngeal injury, greater patient comfort, then patient can eat orally. And, vo and vocalize using specifically designed teach tummy tube. Then monitoring during weaning. In uh, we can see in monitoring, we can see in heart rate, the tachycardia present or not, then blood pressure, hypertension or hypotension, then CVP, and respiratory rate, chest expansion, breathing pattern, then saturation, sign of respiratory muscle fatigue, then CNS anxiety, drowsiness or irritability, then see we can see in EBG. And cause of weaning failure, uh, cause of weaning the first of all increase airway flow resistance uh, in which is the cause of the size of endotracheal tube, cutting of endotracheal tube, HA, ETH, ET tube monitoring for kicking, obstruction by secretion or HME then uh, suctioning frequently, then bronchodilator. Then second, there is a decrease compliance. Low lung or thoracic co compliance make long expansion difficult and it is a major contributing factor to respiratory muscle fatigue and weaning failure. Then two types, then first of all static compliance. In We can see in atelectasis, then ARDS, pneumothorax, obesity, retain secretion and dynamic compliance there is a bronchospasm, kicking of endotracheal tube and airway obstruction. Then respiratory muscle dysfunction. The muscle atrophy is secondary to prolong full ventilatory support and muscle diffuse. Low O2 delivered due to a low O2 and contain or CO2. Then insufficient in nutrition and electrolyte imbalance. Then retraining of uh, atmospheric muscle, muscle may be accompanied by short uh, T-tube trial that improves strength. PSV mode may trial as it increase diaphragmatic endurance. If child has any residual lung disease with increased lung compliance, tendency for atelectasis and decreased lung volume. If weaning process is stressful, Rest period of full mechanical ventilation at night. If weaning, if weaning fail, then possible cardiac and non-cardiac cause of failure need to be assessed and actively monitoring during subsequent weaning attempt. Then cause of difficult to weaning. It cause severe pulmonary infection and diaphragmatic palsy. Early diagnosis and early application improve outcome, but still it cause prolonged ventilation and ICU stay. Then bronchus compression by enlarged PA and a TOF with absent pulmonary valve, then arch repair and dowsing being anomaly. Patient with residual significant cardiac defect like moderate MR, moderate TR, moderate VSD and NELAS post-operative malnutrition. Then uh, physiotherapy inter uh, intervention in weaning. In the most important member of clinical team in ICU, 
role has been expanded towards the rehabilitation in ICU. The reason for these major changes is that clinically ill patients suffer from musculoskeletal dysfunction, critically illness polyneuropathy and ventilatory induced diaphragmatic dysfunction and effort outcome in respect to weaning, extubation and length of strain. Then inspiratory muscle training. A changes make the use of device for improving the strength of the diaphrag diaphragmatic and other respiratory muscle. The breathing, uh, breathing exercise in which type the assist, uh, it is assist removal of secretion, then improve respiratory muscle strength and endurance and promote relaxation and increase thoracic mobility and tidal volume. Then uh, Inspiratory muscle training we can use in intensive spirometry to increase transpulmonary pressure and inspiratory volume, improve inspiratory muscle performance and re-acetabilize or stimulate the normal pattern of pulmonary hyperinflate. When the procedure is repeated on a regular basis, each airway patency may be maintained and lung atelectasis is prevent or reverse. Then early mobilization that is within 2 to 5 days of critical illness improve winning rate and re reduce the duration of mechanical ventilation. It includes a small mobilization, each limb exercise, neck exercise, moving or turning in bed, then sitting in the edges of the bed standing, standing transfer from chair and bed, then walking. Positioning prevent pressure ulcers and compressing neuropathies. With use of the neuromuscular electrical stimulation, significant risk reduction in the development of critically illness polyneuropathy. In condition, in each, each anterior upper lower segment and upright position and the posterior basal segment affected then the most of the prone position can be applied. Then respiratory care. In respiratory care the optimize of ventilation, airway clearance, prevention of pulmonary compli complication and, and hassling in weaning from mechanical ventilation. Respiratory care by physiotherapy has beneficial effect on weaning outcome, length of ICU and hospital stay. High negative pressure and deep suctioning caused by the right upper lobe collapse in intubated children in pediatric cardiac ICU. Manual hyperinflation along with conventional physiotherapy in an effective techniques in management of upper lobe collapse in post-operative pediatric cardiac surgery. Then extubation criteria. The OHA we can see in patient awake, alter with responding we see and moving fall limbs. Hemodynamically stable, cause of ventilatory support resolve, then patient is capable for preventing airway, then chest uh, x-ray normal, no atelectasis, collapse or conjunction, then ABG satisfactory. Then after weaning, uh, continuous monitoring, humidification oxygen, then nebulization, chest physiotherapy, suctioning, breathing exercise, positioning and last mobilization. Then conclusion, no longer a patient has been on the ventilation, no longer weaning process. Weaning from mechanical ventilation require close clinically observation, good clinically judgment and assessment of blood gases. Assess radiation to wean, it is a key step in managing ventilatory patient. Early initial of physiotherapy through early mobilization and, and IMT facilitate faster weaning of patient from ventilator. Thank you.